All right, Ken Peekman, KJ4CTZ. I have a Park Zone Radian here and two DX5E Spectrum transmitters. Uh, this one here, I'm going to prove is bad, and this one here, I'm going to prove as good. What I'm going to do is uh, show you this. It's got an AR600. Uh, receiver in it. I've got a bind plug in it right now. I'm going to bind it to the bad radio. I'll plug it in. Here. Okay. You can see by the flashing light that uh, it is in bind mode. I'm going to hold up the trainer switch and turn on the receiver and it is bound now and there's the buy-in signal so I can let go of that we'll pull the buy-in plug out and I've got full control over the, the tail surfaces of the airplane we're not going to check the the motor at this time now what I do want to show you is um, the AR600 comes with a short antenna and a long antenna. I took these antennas and went through the fuselage. And by Spectrum's recommendation, I went vertical with one and horizontal with the other. They are not touching anything metal, and they are held in place with tape. As you can see, again, we got a, uh, a solid bind light. So with that, I want to show you also that I have 4.9 volts on the receiver even with servo movement with full, dis full deflection at high rate it's still 4.9 volts so with that let's walk 30 paces out here marker right here and now come over here and look at the the radio and the plane in the background there uh, in uh, range check mode um, I don't have any control on the plane none zero so let's walk back towards the plane here they don't have control. Okay. Now I've got a little bit of control, uh, but it's got a delay. Like I'm full left stick right here, and you see it's still turning right. Hopefully the cameraman is seeing all of this. Okay. Even this close to it. Look at there, full right rudder. It's still turning left. Okay. That's bad. There it goes. Right rudder. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, that seems to be doing okay. Okay. Let's back up just a little bit. Boy, boy, there's the wind blowing the brush around. Okay. Okay, I'm getting delayed. As you can see, we still have 4.9 volts there. I've got 
Hold control. I'm going to let go of the trainer switch. And I'm going to turn the plane over here. And as I suspected, the light is blinking, indicating that there has been some RF dropouts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. At least four dropouts here. And we still have a bind light on, on here, so we know we're bound. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this transmitter, indicated by this strap right here. I'm going to turn it out of the light. I'm going to get the bind plug. Plug my battery from the receiver. Get the bind plug in there. There we go. Grab this transmitter that does not have the neck strap attached to it. And I'm going to plug in my battery here. It's in bind mode, indicated by the flashing light there. I'm going to pull the trainer switch up, turn the transmitter on. It is binding. It is bound, followed by the sound. Okay. So, I've got full control over it now. Pull the bind plug back out. And let's do the test all over again with this. Okay, again we got 4.9 volts uh, with use. Now let's walk out to our our bases. Okay, we're not quite to our marker uh, left, 
got a delay. Left, right. Big delay, big delay. Look at that. Pull left and hadn't moved yet. Hadn't moved yet. Still have there it goes. See that? Big delay. No good. Sure enough, the light is flashing there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, three times that the receiver has dropped out, uh, meaning there's an RF problem from my transmitter. So that's the test between two Spectrum DX5E transmitters purchased at the exact same time and uh, mine unfortunately uh, has almost caused me several crashes due to seconds in the air without control. So hopefully uh, Horizon Hobby will make this good to be a new transmitter. Uh, vote on the video. Say whether you like it, whether you don't like it. Uh, hope Horizon Hobby does good. Ken Pinkman, KJ4CTZ. Hope you enjoyed it.